I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now waiting, better believe in your mind Cause it's everything You can mold, shape, find almost anything Hey everybody, this is Praxis. This video is being done in response to a video that was put out by Prepper Potpourri recently where she talks about how animals had taken some of the food out of her garden. If you're new to gardening, it's kind of difficult starting out, you know, getting the seeds going, getting them uh, transplanted into the garden, you know, taking care of the garden, weeding it through the entire season, and it really is kind of a kick in the crotch at the end if after all that work you have your food stolen by, you know, local animals. So it's important to have an approach to try to, you know, prevent that from happening. Now there are lots of different approaches from fences to having a cat to, you know, different types of noisemakers that you can use, but I want to talk in this video about this approach that I've used this season which has worked really well, which is this device uh, on the uh, top of this post here. It's a motion activated noise maker. It sets off a siren and it can be set to go off you know whenever something walks by it or just in the evening. We've had ours uh, just to set uh, just set to go off during the evening and it's been really really effective. We haven't had any issues with animals coming in and taking any of our food. When we first set them up they were going off quite a bit. In fact it was a little bit annoying <laughs> in uh, the evenings you're trying to go to sleep and then this thing will be going off. It, it goes off for about 40 seconds or so and um, at the beginning it was kind of training the animals, you know, stay out of this area and it seems like it's worked because we haven't had any issues with animals taking food out of the garden and they also really haven't been going off so it feels like it almost kind of trained the animals just to stay out of this area. Now there are lots of devices like this that are available and the reason I chose this specific one was a couple of reasons. Uh, one is that it has a, uh, a way of powering it that doesn't require using the battery. Now these are solar powered and it's an internal battery and you, well, I'm sure that I could go in there and I could change the battery that's in there. Uh, batteries only have a certain amount of life and you know I don't know once I get in there maybe it'd be a pain in the butt maybe the battery's hardwired in there a lot of these things are kind of black boxes but what's great about this like I said is it can be powered from an external source you can uh, power it from a USB cable now out in the middle of the garden that's a little bit uh, difficult I don't have any like plug-in receptacles <laughs> you know right out here convenient in the garden but if I ever wanted to keep using these things I could mount it to the house and and have wires running to that I always think it's good to have a backup plan whenever you're relying on batteries because batteries uh, invariably someday are always going to fail so it's important to either know that you can swap the battery out of the unit very easily or you know or not so easily if you don't mind or that you can power it from some sort of an external source so that's one great about the great thing about this uh, particular unit is that it can be powered from an external source uh, I mentioned that it could be uh, set to different settings it can be set to go off to uh, flashlights to flashlights with sound and you can make it so that that will go off you know anytime like I could set it off right now but I've got these set to only go off when it's uh, dark in the evening and that seems like it's worked out pretty well so if you've just put a garden together think about the idea of deterring pests uh, from you know I don't like to call them pests I mean they're just trying to do their honest best about you know making a living just like we are but you know uh, it's nice to try to deter fellow preppers who happen not to be humans uh, you know from taking all the things that you've worked for this is one good approach I'll put a link down in the description below if you'd like to try out this one there are lots of different ones like this but again like like I said the reason I chose this is that it had a lot of good reviews and it was able to be powered from an external source so someday I can use them even if the batteries completely die and it's difficult to replace them that's it good luck thanks for watching this episode has been brought to you in part by Prescott Caliber Club and Jeske Defense Strategies. Prescott Caliber Club is a federally licensed firearm manufacturer and retail store specializing in firearms, survival gear, and producing great online content. If you want to thank them for supporting this channel, go check them out at prescottcalclub.com. Please subscribe and tune in every week for new videos. And if you'd like to support this channel, you can do so through Patreon or PayPal.